Hey, what is going on folks? Spoons here, and uh, actually, before we start the video, I just gotta do something. And uh, I'll just take you guys with me, I guess. There we are, all right, so, that's right. I'm streaming directly from my phone, taking you around the house. The stream is still going. And uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. So if you guys are wondering how do I actually do this, along with uh, some other really cool features, all for free. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. All right, guys. So first off, feel free to go follow me over on twitch.tv slash the real spoons. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday night. Link is down in the description below. And that is a great opportunity and a great spot to just ask me any questions you guys have about this video or any other videos. Of course, you can also leave a comment down below uh, and you can join the discord channel too. We've had a lot of new people join the discord channel. So feel free to join and uh, ask me any questions, hang out. We can play some games, all that kind of stuff. All those links are down in the description below. All right, so what I'm about to show you is gonna allow you to do three major things. One of them is add a remote camera to your OBS, which you just saw in the intro there. Uh, it'll also allow you to have group chats uh, with cameras, so that might be great if you're running a specific talk show or something like that. Um, and then it's also gonna allow you to share your screen remotely to OBS, uh, which could be also useful in different situations where you're maybe casting something or if you are doing a talk show and you wanna show some uh, specific gameplay from a specific game, things like that, it could be really, really useful. So let's hop on in uh, and I'll show you everything you need to know. All right, so the tool that I'm gonna be showing you is called OBS Ninja. And you can get to this tool by going to obs.ninja in one of your favorite browsers. Um, and what I'll be showing you first is exactly what I did in the intro, how to use my phone as a remote camera to OBS. But before we hop into that, I just wanna point out a few things that are on the homepage for OBS Ninja uh, that are pretty important to just talk about. So first off, it says here, this is 100% free. Uh, there are no downloads, no sign-in required, no personal data collection, nothing like that. Uh, and this has been developed by someone named Steve Segwin. I believe I said his last name right. Sorry, Steve, if I mispronounced it. Uh, but huge shout out to him for, for creating this awesome tool completely for free. And he continues to update it as well, which is really awesome. And I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, now what it allows you to do, obviously it says bring you, bring video from your smartphone, computer, or friends directly into your OBS video stream. And uh, it says they use cutting peer-to-peer -peer forwarding technology that offers privacy and ultra low latency. That's all fantastic. He also has his own demo uh, of it right here, but I'll be obviously doing my own demo right now. Um, now there are some issues uh, that he actually explicitly states right here on the homepage. Um, the first being that Mac OS users need to use an older version of OBS in order to get this to work so if you're on mac os right now uh, it says that you need to use obs version 23 or resort to using window capturing a browser with obs version 25 so that's a that's a big thing if you're on if you're on mac um, also it says some users might have pixel smearing uh, problems with specific videos uh, and it says to try to avoid wi-fi uh, to help reduce it you know use ethernet if you can um, or you can add a parameter at the end of the url but we'll get into that in just a moment this was also last updated on August 17th, so that's awesome. There was a recent update. Uh, and this is also really important. He does actually say right here, and I know you guys might not be able to see this, but uh, it says check out the subreddit for help and advanced info. And there's also a Discord channel, so feel free to join that. And if you head over to the subreddit here, um, you'll see that two days ago, he actually released version 10, which is really awesome. So you can check out all the patch notes there. Um, but one thing that we're gonna be doing for our OBS here is we're gonna be using this doc that he created uh, for OBS. So as you guys might know, OBS Studio allows you to actually put custom docs on your actual OBS window. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click directly into this post. I will put a link to it down below as well as a link to OBS Ninja, of course. And um, all you have to do is head into OBS. So we're gonna do a little bit of OBSception here. Um, I'm gonna just bring this over, so sorry about the OBSception. Uh, so all we have to do is we have to go to View, Docs, Custom Browser Docs, and then you're gonna go ahead and give a, the doc a specific name if you want to, and then you can type in the URL obs.ninja slash doc, it's as easy as that, and then click Apply. 
And once you do that, then you can go back to view, docs, and then you'll see there's an OBS Ninja dock right here. You can go ahead and toggle that on and I have mine right here. So what this allows you to do is actually just generate invite links inside OBS, which is super, super useful. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna just go on my phone here and uh, I will show you exactly how to set this up. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is just generate the invite link before you actually go onto your phone. Um, and in order to do that, you just click generate the invite link right here in the OBS Ninja custom doc. You can set any of these options that you want to. I'm just gonna click generate the invite link it's going to give you a, a, the guest invite link as well as the OBS browser source link. Now for the OBS browser source link, all you have to do is just drag it onto your sources and it will automatically add it for you. Just click yes here. There you go. That's all you have to do as far as OBS browser sources are concerned. And then all you got to do after that is head to your guest invite link uh, on your mobile phone. And it's that easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Now for me, I've had to use Firefox, but uh, Chrome has worked for other phones. I have a Pixel 2 XL, so maybe there's an issue with that. I'm also running beta software for Android 11, so there could be issues with that. But again, feel free to join their Discord channel or their subreddit uh, to get some tech support if you'd like to. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Firefox here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and head to the URL that is in OBS, so obs.ninja slash question mark push equals and then the code is y3 capital j make sure you do capital letters if it says capital letters e n and then we're going to go ahead and go there it's going to say share your camera all you got to do is tap that it's going to ask for for permissions to do so so for the back facing camera click share perfect uh, OBS would like to share your camera or, or you would you like to share your camera with OBS Ninja click share there's the back facing camera if you want to do the front facing you can just toggle to the front facing here in the video source section click share there I am right there and then you can just click start, start. and I'm gonna mute myself right there because it's a little crazy but there you go it's that easy that's all you got to do you can set up separate scenes in OBS if you'd like to to have your own sort of mobile scene and it's really that simple so it's it's fantastic there's also options in here if you'd like to toggle between the different cameras you can use that you can do that in the little cog gear you can also hide your camera if you'd like to you can mute yourself there is a chat as well um, if you want to do that, you can go ahead and then you can hang up and it's that simple. So I hung up, my face froze on OBS right there and that's it. That's all I did in the beginning of the video. Super, super simple, free, amazing. And uh, now let me show you guys some of the other options uh, inside OBS Ninja. All right, so some of the other options in OBS Ninja are super, super helpful as well. So the first one you can see here is add group chat to OBS. So uh, that's pretty self-explanatory, but it, let's say you were running like a talk show or something like that and you wanna have a group chat of video feeds, you can go ahead and just do that right here. You can just click add group chat to OBS. You enter a room name, so I'll just, I'll just call this podcast for um, just to, you know sample purposes. And then all you gotta do is enter the room's control center once you do that, there'll be four guest slots right in here, and there'll be different invite links that you can actually send to people that you want to join. Um, so the first invite link uh, invites users to the group, and then those users can see the other feeds, the other video feeds from the other users. Uh, then the second invite link here is to invite users uh, to broadcast only their feeds and they won't actually see the other feeds from the other users. Then the third one is just to add this exact uh, four camera room to OBS. So you would use that if you're doing a podcast or something or a live show. Um, you could go ahead and just add this URL right here to OBS and then it would be um, pretty simple to set up from there on. Now the second option is the one that we actually just used on my phone here, but you can go ahead and do it on desktop as well. So add your camera to OBS. I don't know if this is actually gonna load a camera for me because I'm using uh, my El Elgato HD60 Pro or whatever it's called to, um, yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work for me, but it, it should work for you. This option is also great if you're having like just one person join your stream or if you just, if you have another device in your room that you wanna just add that feed to uh, like if you have like a laptop or something like that in another part of your house you can go ahead and add that video feed directly to your main obs stream 
Now this is another cool feature is you can actually do remote screen share into OBS. Uh, it's not gonna be the tip top best quality from what I've tested, but it is really, really great. So I can actually test it right now. I can just remote screen share into OBS. Uh, I click select screen to share here, and then I can just share my Discord channel. And it says no audio source was detected. And so if I go ahead and copy this, URL up here, and I'm actually just gonna go ahead and add it directly to uh, this browser store or this uh, scene that we're in. So I can actually add this Discord right into this, uh, this scene, and this is a live feed from my Discord. You can see my mouse moving over there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you wouldn't wanna use it for something like Discord, but if you had perhaps uh, just something on another computer that you wanted to share really quickly, something like that, you could easily do it uh, using OBS Ninja. Now, the last thing is pretty self-explanatory as well. It is a reusable invite. So you can click on this and you can just generate an invite link and you can send that out to people so that they can join your OBS stream or your Twitch stream. I keep saying OBS stream, that doesn't sound right. Uh, your Twitch stream and they can they can do all, you know, whatever they wanna do. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cool. You know, create a reusable invite, super easy to do. Uh, and there's also documentation for all this sort of stuff. So if you want to, you can just click the documentation. And what this is gonna do is gonna bring you to a GitHub page and there's gonna be a bunch of different parameters that you can actually add to the end of your URLs for your invites. Um, and by doing that, you set different options. So you can just scroll through. There's a ton of different options you can do. Uh, you can set specific codecs, specific bit rates. Um, you can set specific qualities, width and height, all that kind of stuff for the video feeds that you're adding to OBS. Um, so yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for OBS Ninja. It's a super simple program, really, really awesome. Um, I'm definitely gonna be using a lot more of it on my stream, especially if I'm like, hey guys, I'm gonna go grab a beer downstairs. Like maybe I'll just pick up my phone and just take you guys with me and have a little conversation. And that way there's not really any, any lulls that happen in your stream. Uh, which is really cool. And I, I definitely, I'm definitely a fan of this. It's free, um, no sign in required, nothing like that. No sign up, you know, no downloads. It's just all in your browser. Really, really awesome. So huge shout out to Steve. Thank you so much uh, for creating this awesome tool. And if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the subscribe button, help support those YouTube algorithms and help get my channel a little bit more views, help YouTube pass some views over to my channel, all that kind of stuff. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, peace out.